So I'm doing a demo <clears throat> of the 7 billion humans puzzle dangerous spreadsheeting. I had tried to record a video where I showed the solution, but I couldn't record and think on this particular puzzle as it was a little challenging. I'll just walk through my solution. For the most part, they will just walk forward, pick up a data cube, and they have a memory. And uh, I'll just show you that with this guy. So he's going to walk forward, and we'll just step him through 8 and 5. So when he's over a data cube, so let me get to that point. So a wall's not in front of him. We'll get to that later. There's a data cube below him. He'll pick it up. Should be 8. He will add that to memory 1, which is initialized to 0. I will then get 8. Then he'll go down looking for dangerous holes, which are dangerous. And you need to avoid them. He will step forward again, as there's no dangerous hole. He's not next to a wall. He is above a data cube. He will pick up the data cube. He will add that data cube to memory. He will drop the data cube. And he's sitting there with 13. So that's kind of boring. So let's look at the interesting case of holes. Now I had to kind of make some assumptions here. My assumption is when I get to a hole, I can do a pretty clear pattern where I go up, I go over until there's not a hole anymore, and I go down. And if I'm interrupting anyone else's movement, they'll wait for me. And if they're interrupting my movement, I'll wait for them. I don't know that that's always true, but that's what I'm going to try here. It has worked at least once. There's no guarantee it'll work again. But let's just walk through this guy and show that behavior. So he's going to get to the data cube of 7. He's going to pick it up. He's going to sum it in his memory. Memory 1, which should, will now be 7. And he's going to drop the data cube. And because he's not in front of a hole, he can walk forward. So now we'll go back to the beginning of the loop. And he says, is there a wall in front of me? No. Is there a data cube below me? No. Is there a hole in front of me? Yes. So what he needs to do... Wait, I'm confused. Am I looking at the right guy? Oh, right. Somehow I lost track. But he is continuously trying to step up, and he will keep doing that until the way is clear. In fact, he'd go into an infinite loop if the way ever wasn't clear. So if there was a way to get a deadlock here, um, which I, I can't prove to myself is impossible, but I could see where, yeah, if two people are both trying to get to the same space, and they're both trying to walk there, they would keep impacting each other. But in this case, that person's trying to move forward. He's trying to move up. So it seems like no deadlock is possible. So he's going to step forward. And then he is going to step right. And again, he's going to wait until the person in front of him clears. Now he's going to say, is there a hole below me? Yes, there is. So I'm going to try to move right again. He's still trying to move right. And now he's saying, is there a hole below me? There is not. So he's able to jump to the point where he can take a step down. He jumped out of the loop, and then we jump back to the beginning of the main loop. Because now he is, in theory, back on track. Now there's someone in front of him. He should just wait for them. They cleared out before he needed to actually issue his commands. So now he's back to picking up data cubes, I think. And it says he picked up a three. It's 
hard for me to keep track of what's going on here. Okay, so he's picked up the three. He's okay with that. He's going to drop it. And now he's at a hole again. So he has to do the move up and move right. And move down again. And then he should get back to the beginning where he can pick up a data cube and summon on memory launch, which should now be 15. And then he will walk to his proper place at the end of the line, which is always a zero. And now he's going to pick up that cube and write the result. That's what this if a wall is. He's like, okay, I can write my result now. So he'll pick up the cube write what's in memory onto the cube and drop the cube and then end the program with end. The optional size challenge is 13. I would love to see that done. I have no idea how to do this in 13. I was happy to be able to do it in 21 steps because when I first looked at it I couldn't quite figure out how to walk around the cube in a, in a consistent fashion that would work for everyone because you can't program each of these people differently they all follow the same program and it has to work the optional speed challenge um, there's probably ways I have of improving my program and I'm not going to do that right now but uh, I only need to get from 45 to 32 that doesn't seem too hard getting from 21 to 13 steps requires a solution more clever than I can come up with at the moment. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's uh, Year 37, Dangerous Spreadsheeting, 7 Billion Humans.